Jota, ¿qué les pasa? ¿Por qué están de pleitito? Va ¿Ah? un poco. Solo pelean, no. Va para allá, ve. Ya le voy a decir a Roma que les debe comer. Yo les pregunto. Pero...
Hi, everyone. Good evening, Luis, Abigail, Matiel, Santos, Cristina, Cecia, Francisco, and Mario. How are you doing today? Is it raining there? Is it raining? Yes. <laughs> yes. Is it raining a lot? Bastante, así que creo que tendré interferencia este día. Oh, yeah, probably you will uh, be having some issues, but no worries. Uh, I understand it. it. It is in here too, but I hope that we can have the class as regular as always. Hola, no nos toque reponer. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, thank you so much for being on time, for being here. Thank you for being so responsible as always. We are going to start the class. Um, okay. Um, yes, probably some of you will have issues with uh, listening because of the rain, right? Uh, okay. Okay, thank you for letting me know, Francisco. I hope it gets better. It will stop raining soon. I hope so. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, yesterday, we were talking about restaurant, right? We discussed some vocabulary. And we were working in this exercise. Do you remember? Did you finish it? Okay, Abigail, no worries. Uh, you're traveling by bus? Okay, so it's okay if, yes, okay. Thank you so much, Abigail. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, uh, yesterday we uh, worked in this exercise. I think that some of you maybe finish it. And as we are going to be talking about restaurant industry, the menus in the restaurants, etc., we have more vocabulary in the next slide. Okay. And let's repeat. Appetizer. Atmosphere. Beverage. Peel, bowl, boost, cash, cashier, check, chef, closed, chopsticks. Cook, credit, top, customer, dessert, dish, drive through, entrance, entry, exit. Fast food, food court, fork, glass, home delivery, kitchen, knife, Main course, meal, menu, napkin, non smoking, uh, 
open, order, pepper, plate, refill, reserve, reservation, restaurant chain, restroom, salad bar, salt, serve, service, service charge, side order, spoon, straw, table, tablecloth, takeout, Tip, to go, to stay, toothpick, tray, waiter, waitress, washroom, vegetarian. Okay, any question about this vocabulary? Any new word? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, hello. What does it mean table cloth? Oh, excellent. Table cloth is um the the we use a kind of fabric to cover the table. Mantel. 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 Excellent. Uh huh. That is table okay. cloth. Okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. Table cloth. Okay, a new word. Good. Thank you so much for asking. Any other new word? Only one, only tablecloth. What does it mean, entry? Entry is entry. entrada. Una entrada de, de comida. Okay. Any other question? Okay, so remember this vocabulary, it's going to be useful during uh, through all section number one that we're going to be talking about the restaurant industry. So let's see. Oh, toothpick. Uh, good question, Carla. Toothpick is on um, palillo de dientes, los que se usan para limpiar los dientes. Así se llaman, ¿verdad? Palillo de dientes, toothpick. Uh -huh. Any other question? Aparte de usarse para limpiar los dientes, a veces se, se usan, you're welcome, para comida, como para eh, picar. También a veces ponen palillos de esos para, para poder agarrar las cositas para picar. And that's a toothpick. Teacher, mm -hmm. what's the meaning of napkin and beverage? Napkin. Napkin. Um, ¿Alguien recuerda que es napkin? Servilleta. Ajá, uh -huh, excellent. Servilleta. Napkin. Y beverage es bebida. Mm -hmm. Any other question?
Oh, Cristina asked for chopsticks. Chopsticks son los palillos, los palillos como los que dan en la comida japonesa. Palillos, chopsticks. Ellos usan palitos, los chinos también creo que usan palitos para comer. No comen contenedor, sino que con esos palitos y se llaman chopsticks. You're welcome, Cristina. Any other question? Okay, so we have that vocabulary. Keep it handy. So we can, um, maybe you will use it uh, later in other exercises. As we were discussing and yesterday, as you remember, we were studying about how to make um, comparisons. And we said that we use them to compare two things, okay? Here we have, for example, two menus. Both has uh, similar items, um, but can you compare the Bob's Coffee Shop menu to Jack's restaurant menu, you can compare the like the appearance, presentations, the items on them and make some sentences. For example, uh, we can say Bob's menu. Let me put it capital Bob's menu is Okay, there is a sentence. Oh, ¿Por qué se fue solo para Francisco? <laughs> qué raro. Voy a seleccionar para todos. So you can. Okay, there it is. Bob's menu looks more modern than Jack's menu. Okay. That is a sentence and we are comparing the two menus like, like the appearance, right? Bob's menu looks more modern than Jack's menu. Can you make other sentences comparing the menus and the items on, in them? You can write them in the chat. I'll give you time. Okay, excellent, Catherine. You said Jack's menu is easier to read than Bob's menu. Good.
You can talk about the prices on them. Are they similar? Which one is cheaper, expen more expensive, etc. Teacher. Yes. Hello, teacher. And uh, Bob's coffee shop. The tea is more expensive than Jack Jack's restaurant. In, okay. In the, uh, that than Jack restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is correct. Than in Jack in Jack's restaurant. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, it's correct. Excellent. You just needed the proposition. Then in Jack's restaurant. Okay, yes, uh, Victor says Jack's menu has more options than Bob's menu. Mm, yes, the, the item selection is bigger than Bob's coffee shop. It's, it's, it's true, good. Any other sentence? No more sentences? Oh, okay, no worries. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing. We are going to, well, we're going to go to the next exercise, but yes, you have it in the presentation. Um, this is a conversation in which um, they are using um, adjectives to make comparisons. And um, we're going to listen to the audio and then we're going to practice pronunciation. The, this is just to show you that this is in the presentation. I'm going to stop sharing here. And we'll go to the um, material where I have the out. Okay. Here is uh, the conversation. As you can see, we have uh, two, uh, well, we have a boy and a girl, and they are drinking probably coffee or tea in a cafe. Yes, it looks like a coffee shop. They are probably at a coffee shop and they are discussing about countries or cities. 
Okay. We're going to listen to the conversation between Mike and Wendy. First, I'm going to play the audio. And we will repeat at home. Remember that we will do this with microphones off to avoid the uh, too much noise or delays with the internet speed can cause like just a disorder. So let's listen. I'm going to pause after each interaction so that you can repeat at home. Unit 14, the biggest and the best. Page 93, exercise two, conversation. Which is larger? Part A, listen and practice. Here's an interesting geography quiz. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm. I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest, La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Questions, uh, vocabulary. What is meaning crowded? Crowded. It's when you go, for example, to La Pizza Hut in Mother's Day, it's a lot of people. It means it's crowded with a lot of people. Um. Uh -huh. Cuando hay mucha gente. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cuando hay mucha gente, it's crowded. Okay. I get it. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? Yes, Miss. Eh, la pronunciación de... Se me perdió acá. El último párrafo, la última, la última palabra después de Bogotá. Highest. Highest. Uh -huh. Highest. Ok, you're welcome. Any other question? Longest, teacher, longest. Así como se dice, longest. Larger. 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 Okay, I will play the audio one more time so that you can practice and then we will go to the breakout room so that you can practice with your classmates.
Unit 14, The Biggest and the Best. Page 93, Exercise 2, Conversation. Which is larger? Part A, Listen and Practice. Here's an interesting geography quiz. Oh, I love geography. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, China or Canada? I know. Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Hmm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, we will go ahead and move to breakout rooms so that you can practice these conversations with your classmates. So remember uh, that this is in the presentation that I sent to you. And this is the last exercise that we're going to do to practice the comparatives, okay? Then we will move to another uh, topic, which is in our in software material, which is fun voice or coordinated conjunction. So um, let's practice. Remember that it is important for you to practice uh, speaking your pronunciation. This is the only chance that you have because in the platform, we cannot practice speaking. So just give me one moment. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Okay, there you go.
eh, Miss, eh, no podemos compartir la, la imagen. Eh, why? Why can't you share? ¿Por qué no pueden compartir? Eh, ahorita la ando buscando para... Ah, ok. Para compartirla. Uh -huh. Está habilitada la opción y esto lo tienen en, ¿cómo se llama? Mm, en la presentación de ayer. Sí, eso ando buscando ahorita. Si no, pues les puedo compartir un momento para que le tomen fotito. Oh, bueno, ahí está. Y mientras no me llamen, pues de otro room les puedo seguir compartiendo. Sí, me puedo tomar una captura. Okay. Ya tomo captura, la vida ahí. Sí, ya la tengo. Empezamos. Empecemos. Perfecto. Inicio o inicia. Como guste. Voy a iniciar. <laughs> There's an interesting geography quiz. Oh, I love geography as ask me the question. Sure. First question. Which country is larger? China or Canada? I know. Canada, Canada is large. China. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. There's a hard one. Which country is more crowding? Monaco or Singapore? I am not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay, one more. Which South American capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that is easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay, very good. I just heard a couple of words. Acuérdense que es interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh. Hacemos okay. como, como un poquito de um, estrés en la primera. In. Interesting. Yes. Y la, ajá, excelente. Y la E al principio, la primera E no se pronuncia. Entonces nos queda interesting. Uh -huh. okay. okay. The other remember is larger. Como con J, larger. Larger. Excelente. Bien, Abigail. Larger. Ok. Uh, y lo último es crowded. 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 Uh -huh. Crowded. Crowd. Crowd. Crowded. Crowded. Así. Excellent. Excellent. You got it. Continue practicing. <coughs> ok. Ok, inicio. Sí. Here, uh, interesting geography quiz. Oh, I love geography. Ask, the, ask me the question. Sure, per question. Which your country is larger, China or Canada? I know Canada is larger than China. Okay, next. What's the largest driver in the Americas? Mm, I think it's the Mississippi. Here's our one 
which country is more crowded, Monaco or Singapore? I'm not sure. I think Monaco is more crowded. Okay. Okay, one more. Which South America capital city is the highest? La Paz, Quito, or Bogota? Oh, that's easy. Bogota is the highest. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Pretty good. So it's geography. 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 Excellent. Geography. That's the only and that sounds better. Estuvo mejor. Good okay. job. Thanks. Okay. See you in the main section. See you, teacher. See you, teacher. All right, I think everybody's back again. So we're going to uh, finish this exercise by listening the rest of the conversation. Okay, in part B, as you see here, part B, it says, listen to the rest of the conversation and answer. Here you have to answer. How many questions did Wendy get? right okay so we're going to listen and try to get that information how many questions did wendy get right listen page 93 exercise 2 part b listen to the rest of the conversation how many questions did wendy get right so let's see how you did on this quiz the first question, which is larger, China or Canada? You said... Canada. And you're right. Both are large, but Canada is larger. Next, what's the longest river in the Americas? You said the Mississippi. Sorry, no, it's the Amazon. Oh, of course. This next question I didn't know. Monaco is more crowded than Singapore. So, I got it right? I just guessed. And finally, you said that Bogota is the highest capital city in South America. Yeah, I remember hearing that somewhere. Sorry, Wendy, but you're wrong. La Paz in Bolivia is the highest. Really? Wow, I guess I didn't do so well. Too right, but too wrong. Okay, how many questions did Wendy get right? Two. Two. Yes, excellent. Just two. Now, I'm going to stop sharing for a while. And I'm going to check attendance. So, remember to say present when you hear your names. Uh, okay, give me one second. First. Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Thank you, Valmore. 
Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Cecia Noemí Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Carlos, ya vi que escribió en el chat. Thank you. Elba Melanie Orellana. Elba Melanie Orellana. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mejiva Rodríguez. Present. Hazel. Janet Fernanda Cortés Durán. Janet Fernanda Cortés. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Present, Miss. Thank you, Catherine. Luis Javier Castillo. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú García. Present, teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Ernesto Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Mario. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Mirna Janet Ángel. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. And Victor Noé Bonilla. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, hey, I'm going to continue sharing my screen with you. Okay, here we have a piece. Okay, thank you. thank you so much. Luis Javier. Okay, ahorita lo pongo. Okay. okay, now let's see. We have this and we need to use the see what kind of okay. okay this is to make comparisons and um, we were practicing this yesterday just let's wrap up the topic with a couple of more exercises and we need to use the adjective that we have in parentheses and the comparative form you can write it on the chat or you can use your notebooks uh, for example then the first one how would you um, complete the first one? Which country is, and we have a small. Small, small. 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 It's one syllable. Siete una sílaba, dijimos que es. Smaller. 
Uh -huh. Smaller. Which country is smaller? Monaco or Vatican City? Uh -huh. And so you can continue uh, with the rest. Remember that in number two, you will use high. Number three, you will use crowded. And number three, uh, number four, you will use large. You can write the answers in your notebooks or you can write them on the chat. Hi, Excellent, Christina wrote the answer for number two, higher. Mm -hmm. Higher. Christina did the number two. You can continue writing number three and four. The rest of you, if you have finished, you can write them on the chat.
excellent, Maltiel and Carla Ivania. Yes, it is correct, more crowded. Very good, thank you so much. More crowded. More crowded. Now we're missing one. Okay, we have Abigail, Matiel, and Francisco. Yes, excellent. That is um, the correct answer. Larger. Good. So that was a piece of cake. That was pretty easy. And let me grab up the full screen so that we can check this other. Well, let me clear the drawings first. Okay, let me clear this. Um. Okay, uh, for the next exercise, just let me get um, stop sharing. Well, you have two links here. Just let me stop sharing. We have to compartir un ratito para poder copiar los enlaces y que se borren esa nota. Because sometimes it's uh, a little bit difficult to get them from the from the PowerPoint for some reason. Okay, there you have it. That is the first one. And I have another. Let's see. Okay. Okay, there you go. You have uh, two links that you can go there to practice more about the comparatives. And also you will find more exercises related to the topic. So I'll give you some time for you to go into this website and, and try to practice with those two links. You can uh, practice more exercises about this topic. So, um, do you have the, the, se los puse en el meeting chat porque así es más fácil para que lo, lo agarren para ir ahí, practicar ahí. Igual lo pueden hacer desde su teléfono si no están en la computadora. Y pues ahí pueden encontrar muchos, muchos ejercicios sobre el tema que estamos viendo ahorita. So, les voy a dar unos minutitos para que practiquen en grupos, ya como un refuerzo y para terminar el tema de los comparatives por el momento. Luego vamos a ir a otro, a otro tema, siempre que está incluido en nuestra sección 1. I'll give you some time. And then we're going to go to the breakout rooms for you to practice. Let me recreate them. Okay, there you go.
¿qué vamos a hacer? Quiero ver dónde dice... Happy with... Carlos, Carla, Hazel, and Catherine, do you have any issues to join the breakup rooms? Or you will practice on your own? You can practice on your own if you are having issues to get into the breakup rooms. Okay, Carla and Catherine, good that you're practicing. It's okay. Sé que ahorita está un poquito complicado unirse a los breakout rooms por la señal, so you can practice on your own.
How was your practice? How was your practice? Funny. Funny. Excellent. <laughs> Thin, funny. <laughs> okay. Any other comment? Okay, I'm happy that you found that interesting and funny at the same time. Um, remember that you can continue practicing in your free time. You have a lot of exercises in that um, in that link. So that was the uh, purpose of it, that you explore it together, that you can share. And also now you have it there so that you can continue practicing in your free time. Okay. So you have more material and more uh, tools to practice with. Okay. Now uh, let's continue talking about the next thing that we have here. It's fun boys. Have you heard about them before? Have you heard about fun boys before? What are fun boys? Do you know? Or you don't have any idea about what does it mean or what is it about? Fanaticos. Um, if we translate it like, yes, literally, yes, but um, not exactly. Okay. Let me share my screen and we will uh, start talking about them. They are called fun boys because of the, they are conjunctions. You know, the, the function of a conjunction is to put two sentences together, to, to um, put ideas together. And they received the name of fanboys, as you can see, for is a conjunction. It starts with the letter F and it's a conjunction as well, starting with A, nor is an N, but B, or O, yet, Y, so, S. That is what they are called fanboys. But um, the grammatical name is well coordinated conjunctions. And as you can see here, uh, it says there are seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven coordinated conjunctions. They give equal importance to words or sentences that they connect. Is it clear here? Is this clear or you think it's difficult? What do you think? No comments? That's silence. It makes me feel worried when you're in silence. Everybody's in silence. So, but it, this is not like uh, so difficult. Sometimes the grammatical names are like, um, are like we, it, it makes us think that it's a difficult thing, but it is not. You will see. It's no, no es tan difícil. A veces como que el nombre gramatical es como que suena terrorífico, but mm, no, es un tema bastante sencillo. Las conjunctions nos sirven para conectar ideas, oraciones, eh, Y bueno, pues tienen un significado y una función cada una de esas conjunctions. Aquí les eh, pongo eh, esta cartelito para que lo tengan como referencia. La conjunction, por ejemplo, for, significado, because or since, 
y tenemos un ejemplo. Este cartelito nos va a ayudar mucho a entender eh, las funciones, el significado y el, el cómo usarla. Por ejemplo, la conjunction for significa lo mismo que because or since. Okay. Sabemos que because y since son utilizados para dar una explicación. Ahí tenemos un ejemplo. I have to find a job for I am unemployed. Estoy dando la razón del por qué necesito utilizar eh, 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 un empleo. ¿Por qué necesito encontrar un empleo? Entonces, la conjunction for eh, tiene el mismo significado que for or since. ¿Ok? Um, eso es como más, digamos, vamos a... Ya no es un nivel básico de inglés el que tenemos. Ya vamos eh, preparándonos con un intermedio. Entonces, por eso es necesario y el por eso es que se ya van introduciendo estos temas. Porque pues ya básico ya tenemos. Ahora tenemos que ir un poco más allá. Ya no solo vamos a utilizar because. Because this, because that. Ya tenemos otra opción. For. Ok. Ahora, and, and es lo mismo que decir en in addition to, es para agregar algo, otra, otra idea, right? I am a husband and father. That is a really easy and eh, nos sirve para agregar. In addition to es ese significado. Eh, luego tenemos nor, nor. Es como decir, And not, como tampoco, ¿ok? Eh, y acuérdense que es para son de igual eh, significado, igual importancia. Eh, ahorita le voy a ayudar, Palmore, con lo que escribió. Eh, tienen una igual importancia, entonces el nor es como decir y tampoco. Eh, y tenemos una oración ahí, neither my parents nor my friends supports me. Okay. Ni mis papás ni mis amigos me apoyaron. Okay. So, como ven, es dos eh, oraciones negativas, igual valor, eh, y están conectadas con la conjunción nor, que es como decir, and not, y tampoco. But, But, es, esa la usamos mucho, eh, significa lo mismo que however. And we have an example there. It says, I have got a home, but I haven't got a car. Okay. Tengo esto, pero it's like a contrasting idea. Es para agregar contraste. Or, it's like either. It's like another option, right? Which color do you like? Red or blue? That is really simple. La usamos bastante. Estamos familiarizados con ella también. Eh, luego tenemos yet. Yet is the same as but. Okay. Tom plays basketball well. Yet his favorite sport is football. Okay. Tenemos otra manera de decir uh, but, podemos usar yet instead y es el mismo significado, le da igual valor a la oración. So, it's like therefore. It's, remember that so es como para introducir a la consecuencia, como decir por lo tanto. Y ahí tenemos un ejemplo. She was sick, so she couldn't attend the meeting. Ahora, ¿cómo lo sienten? ¿Ya está un poquito más claro? Yes, teacher. But uh, no is new for me. Sorry? The word nor is new for me. Nor. N-O-R, ajá, uh -huh, es como tampoco. 
Yeah. Because no es una negación, ¿verdad? Eh, y tampoco es como decir ni, ni este ni el otro, ¿verdad? So, yes, siempre es una negación, pero, eh, como decir, eh, and not, como está ahí el significado, and not es como decir y tampoco, nor. Ok. Eh, another example, tal vez con otro ejemplo podemos, eh, so you can say, it. se la voy a escribir en chat. Ahí les puse otro ejemplo usando nor en el chat de la meeting. Y dice, I don't like onions nor garlic in my meals. Okay. No me gustan las cebollas ni tampoco el ajo en mis comidas. Es solo un ejemplo. Tolero bien las dos cosas. <ríe> Le da sabor. I don't like onions nor garlic in my meals. Eh, ¿Quedamos mejor con este ejemplo, Maitiel? A ver, ¿Quién estaba preguntando? Creo que Maitiel. Bueno, well, I hope that is more clear for you. Yes, teacher, it's, it's okay. Okay, Thank good. You. Any Thank other you so question? Much. You're more than welcome. ¿Hay algo otra que, que no esté como muy claro o que quisieran que demos más ejemplos? Therefore, is, uh, sin embargo. Um, therefore, ajá, es como decir por lo tanto. Es como para introducir una consecuencia. Uh -huh. Ahí en esa oración, por ejemplo, pudieran usar también therefore en vez de so. Es la mismo significado, es para eh, introducir una consecuencia. Por ejemplo, aquí ella estaba enferma, por lo tanto, a consecuencia de su enfermedad, ¿verdad? No pudo asistir a la reunión. Ah, Eso fue okay. como el resultado, ¿verdad? La okay. consecuencia. Para eso sirve therefore y so. Uh -huh. Any other question? Or uh, alguna más que quisieran aclarar un poco más? Is this the first time that you see this? Es es como primera vez que estudian estos, los fanboys? or coordinated conjunction? It's just practice. Ajá, pueden, uh, bueno, vamos a estar practicando ahorita solo es como la explicación e introducción del tema. Sé que la gramática es un dolor de cabeza para algunos, pero la verdad no es tan complicada. Pero por eso prefiero explicarla en español porque pues nos cuesta a veces con nuestra misma gramática en español y entonces encontramos la de inglés un poco traumatizante, pero en realidad no lo es. Es bastante simple y igual si necesitan más ejemplos, eh, explicación adicional, estamos a la orden. Así que bueno. Vamos a proceder, and this is on page 11, as you can see, no nos estamos desviando de lo que nos pide el programa, sino que es parte de. Y you can find this on page 11 of your material. Uh, we continue in unit number one, talking about the restaurant. Porque se me mutió. Okay, and we are, um, in, in page 11, we have a, a kind of a short explanation. Tenemos una, expla una pequeña eh, explicación o presentación de lo que son las coordinated conjunctions, que también pueden ver acá hasta como fanboys, es por um, el, el, la inicial de cada una de ellas. 
y ahí pues hay una pequeña explicación de qué es lo que hace cada uno. Ya vimos anteriormente en el cartelito con ejemplos que les puse y aquí tenemos como para reforzar lo que ya habíamos hablado. For explains reason or purpose just like because. The same thing. And adds one thing to another. Nor presents alternative negative idea to an already presented negative one. But shows contrast or present an alternative or choice, yet introduces a contrasting idea that follows the preceding idea logically, and so indicates effect, result, or consequence. About punctuation, eh, ahí tenemos información adicional de la puntuación. It means that we have a sentence, then a comma, then a fanboy, and then the sentence. Eh, quiere decir que es como, eh, bueno, aquí no nos da ejemplos, solo se nos explica, pero en los ejemplos que tienen acá, pueden ver con la puntuación, vamos con una sentence, then a comma, then the conjunction, and then the other sentence. Y acá, pues, el ejercicio es poner la coma donde corresponde según la explicación. Luego vamos a hacer ejercicios un poco más, eh, que requieran un poco más de, de que de verdad practiquemos el, y, y recordemos lo que significa y el uso de cada una de estas eh, conjunciones. Por ahorita, el ejercicio 8 nada más es poner la coma a donde corresponde según lo que se nos ha explicado ahí. Which I think is not rocket science. Creo que es simplemente saber, por ejemplo, aquí. I go to expensive restaurants for their service and dishes are very good. ¿A dónde iría la coma ahí? I go to expensive restaurants. Después de, después de restaurants. Excellent, Mario. Uh -huh. So, I go to expensive restaurants, comma, for their service and dishes are very good. Number two. Restaurants need to offer specialty dishes and they have to take offer uh, They have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. After dishes. Dishes, excellent. And number three, the delivery person arrived late, so we got the food for free. Where should we put the comma here? According to the material? After late. After late. Yes, mm -hmm. that is correct. Hmm? That's correct. Now, in this exercise that we have on your material in page 11, it says write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. What services do they offer? What characteristics make this restaurant good? Use comparative adjectives and coordinated conjunctions. Okay. So, is this exercise clear? Está claro lo que vamos a hacer aquí? A 10 line review of your favorite restaurant. The, you can uh, include the information that the questions suggest, or um, you can just write and uh, make use of comparative adjectives and coordinated conjunctions, which is uh, the focus for us today. Tienen que escribir como un, un, un review de su restaurante favorito. Y lo importante ahí, en lo que se deben de enfocar, es que en su, en su review tienen que incluir compara eh, adjetivos comparativos y coordinated conjunctions. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, eh, 
I really love Mexican food. My favorite restaurant is La Calaca. I think that La Calaca is, y ahí podemos usar algún comparativo, compararlo con otro restaurante mexicano. I think that La Calaca is more convenient than los cebollines. Because in La Calaca, they offer this and this and this. So I consider that this is a good restaurant where you can go with your family, um, etc. Así ir poniendo comparativos y también conjunctions. Eh, Van a tener tiempo para escribirlo. Eh, unos 10 minutos eh, y luego pues vamos a compartirlo con la clase. No es necesario que lo hagan en la computadora, pero si ustedes gustan lo pueden hacer en Word para después compartirlo o si lo quieren nada más hacer en su cuaderno para después leerlo para la clase. That's okay. Como les salga más fácil. Ok, I'll give you time.
Okay, time is over. Uh, do we have any volunteer to share the paragraph? Volunteer to share the paragraph? No volunteers to share the paragraph or you haven't finished? Do you need more time? Okay, thank you so much. Okay. My favorite restaurant is located in one of the places where the sunset are more beautiful than anywhere else. I like to go for the typical dishes. My son loves that place much more than the beach or a shopping center. It is located a minute away from my house where the weather is freezing, where the landscapes are impressive, more beautiful than seeing them in a photograph. Okay, excellent paragraph, Marilyn. Thank you so much. You did an excellent job. Is that, that's a way to go, excellent. Anybody else would like to share? Nobody else? Okay, so I'm going to check attendance for the second time. Remember to say present as soon as you hear your name. And for Palmore, ahí le mandé en directo, en el chat de la miren, está en directo, el enlace para que se una al grupo de WhatsApp y que pueda pues eh, recibir las presentaciones y lo que se está mandando. Eh, más tarde, cuando vea que ya se unió, eh, o mañana tal vez, voy a reenviar la presentación para que pues la tenga por ahí. Eh, vamos a chequear attendance. Ok. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Valmore Alexander Maroquín. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present, present teacher, present. Thank you, Valmore. Carlos Emilio Coto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Cecia Noemí Ramos. Present teacher. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Hazel Vanessa Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Janet Fernanda Cortés. Janet Fernanda Cortés. Okay. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Julissa Yamilet. Y parece que no se conectó el día de ahora. Uh, let's continue. Carla Ivania Anaya. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Mm. 
Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Present. Thank you. Matiela Saúl García. Present teacher. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you. Ernesto Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Melanie Alexandra. Ok. Mirna Yanet Ángel. Present teacher. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Víctor Noé Bonilla. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for and okay, Carlos and Carla Ivania que escribieron en el chat. So let me add you. Is it a stop raining? Okay, so I'm going to send you um, Beatriz a script of present. Voy a revisar porque ya había salido Catherine. Esto es mi mamá, te pega una oveja, pues eso es tu mamá. ¿Será que por eso es? Por eso es así, pues, señor. Ahorita le agrego. Ahí está. Thank you so much. The fun boys, uh, we already practiced making a paragraph, I guess. So, que tal vez todos lo hicieron. So, uh, we have another exercise, and I'm going to share you the link. The link for the other exercise is in the meeting chat. So that you can click there, go and practice the coordinated conjunctions. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Remember that the idea of being creating breakout rooms is for you to share your ideas, um, share with your classmates what you remember to make review. That's the idea. So if you can join, that's okay. If you can't, sé que a algunos se les dificulta unirse porque los saca de la meeting, etc. Traten de hacer el ejercicio eh, ustedes solos también. Pero pues siento que es mejor en, en, en grupo porque así nos hacemos el repaso, complementamos. Yo me acuerdo de una cosa, tal vez el otro no se acuerda. And, and that's the way we can make a review. Okay, there we go.
Okay, I see that everybody's back again. I hope that you have practicing now. No se escucha. Can you hear me now? Hello? I see. Yes, I can, teacher. Thank you so much. Well, uh, how was the exercise? Now, is it easy or difficult? Uh, it was easy. Yeah, okay, nice. You can find more exercises or try to make your own statements using the coordinated conjunctions. And well, that would be it for today. Remember to work in the platform so that you don't have any inconvenience um, later. So thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you tomorrow and that you have a good rest. Bye, take care. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Good night. Yeah, this again. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Take care. Good night.